Hi everyone, we have our second Timu order. I did look up how to correctly pronounce Timu. Um, and for whatever reason, like every time I say it, I can't help but think of the strawberry from Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is one of two packages and they're very similar items, which obviously you'll see when I open up. I think there's only three items in this exact package. Okay, so our first and largest item is this couch seat cover and at the time when I purchased it, the three seater, which is what I needed, was sold out. So I did get a four seater. I'm just gonna like tuck it so that way it just works for now. I do have dogs, so they get fur everywhere. And this is just an easy way to kind of contain that without ruining the couch underneath. So let's check out the quality. It already feels super thin. It is very thin. You can see my fingers through it. So I don't know how much protecting it's going to do. I'll put up a picture once I put this on the couch. Again, it's the wrong size, but I will make this work i did order a three seater it did come back in stock but for ten dollars a piece these are usually twenty dollars 25 in store i am more than okay with that and i will say it doesn't have like a chemical smell or anything like that to it our next couple items are these group of baggies that have a adhesive strip to it and i was going to plant i literally got the biggest size possible so i don't know maybe i can still make it work hold on Okay, so it does look like I can make it work. It will just be a little compact, but that's okay. I feel like getting anything in a sealed package always makes for better traveling and I don't know, it just feels more professional. From now on, I will be putting my custom scrunchies as long as they fit in these clear plastic baggies. And then the last item is super random and they are just figurines of pigs and I couldn't pass this up. It was just too adorable. Before I show these off, I did get a second grouping of this, which is in the next package that we'll look at. I think the reason why Timu is so addicting is because you will literally just be sitting and all of a sudden you'll get a notification and it's like, hey, that item that you like that was $4, we're selling it for a dollar now. And like, hey, click this box and oh, you got six cents of credit and now you got four cents of credit and it just totals up. So I can see why people order from this app back to back to back to back. After this, I have another package to open and then I have like two other ones on the way. Then I might steer away from Timu for a while because I definitely don't want to turn around where every week I'm ordering one just of stuff that I don't necessarily need because even though you don't need it at that time, you're like, oh, this is great. And to get free shipping, you have to do $15. So let me add this, this, this. Nonsense, just nonsense. Fun, but nonsense. So here is our first piggy. It looks like he's drinking juice or milk. Right now on my dashboard, I have a bunch of SpongeBob figurines, so they might be getting replaced with whatever pigs I deem the most adorable. Here is another one with a cute little side satchel bag. Oh my God, they're just so cute. <laughs> this is what adulting looks like for anyone who's wondering, spending your money on pig figurines, because why not? You have this little happy fella. Would I deem him part of the very cute club? Probably not. I don't know if he'd make my dashboard. You have this guy who would be lounging on his back. Now I do like that better. Of course, the raincoat would definitely make my dashboard in my car. Besides SpongeBob, I have Coraline all over my car. So this will be my Coraline pig. And then the last little fella, oh my goodness, he's just winking and posing. So stinking cute. Here's my current setup in my car. As you can see, we have Mr. Krabs, SpongeBob, Squidward. We have Gary, Patrick, and Sandy. And this is supposed to be an English Bulldog. These were all from like mystery packs that you get at Walmart when you're standing in the self checkout line and you randomly see like, ooh, candy and a mystery item. That's all those. Um, let's remove these. So looking at this, as much as I love the lie down one, he's just not gonna work for this setup. So we're gonna remove him and open up the other piggies in the next package to see which ones fit with these. I mentioned Coraline before. I don't know how well these are gonna show up, but I have my Coraline pins up here, little key, keychain, and then this figurine. And then behind this, I have my other Coraline figurine, which used to be a bobblehead here and here, but I didn't like that look. So I cut it and glued it back together and I much prefer it this way. All right, these pigs aside, let's open up the next package. So here's the second bag and what in the wrapping catastrophe is this? 
Like you would think I have a tennis racket or something in here. I don't understand the mindset of how they wrap this, but all right, whatever, let's open this. And I just wanna say the more I think about Timu and how cheap everything is, how quick they can send it to you. Obviously this wrapping job reflects they want quantity over quality, but I think I'm gonna look more into Timu and see if there is like bad business practices because I definitely don't want to support something no matter how cheap it is, no matter how good the product is, if there's bad business practices. So after this, I do have two other deliveries, but I think I'm good with Timu. I think I've gotten the full effect of it. Whenever I do look into it, if I do come across bad business practices, I will make a video on that. Hopefully everything is kosher, but usually when something is so cheap and it's too good to be true, there's usually a catch. But I digress, let's open this up. And again, because they just throw everything in this plastic bag, I've heard that you do see a lot of crushed boxes, so hopefully the contents within are still okay, but let's see. It looks like it survived, and this just organizes in your broom closet put brooms, mops, and whatever else. And right now we just have them standing all over the place. So it's a mess and having this will definitely organize everything. I will put this up so I'll insert photos of before and after. So this is actually the correct size of the couch cover that I previously got. Before it was a four seater, this one's a three seater. However, the four seater actually fit the three seater. So now I'm wondering if this will be too small, but since I still have the other one on, I am just gonna keep this in the package and put it in my storage for now. And then when that one needs to be swapped out, I will find out if this fits. The next item of course is more piggies. So let's see which ones will join the other pigs in my car. First, we have this adorable one coming out of a watermelon. Of course, this has to go into my car. This is too, too cute. Next, we have this guy. Oh my goodness, he's got a little snot bubble. And turning it around, you can see his little hiney underneath. Looks like he's been playing in the mud. Got this guy who looks like he's playing a video game console, maybe a Game Boy. Another piggy doing a cute little pose, peace sign. I love this little guy. He was just probably running and just slipped on some mud. He is adorable. Now we got this pretty piggy with a cute pink heart satchel. All right, all right. And lastly, we have this adorable piggy in a green raincoat this time. These seem to be my absolute favorite one. The other one reminded me of Coraline. This one obviously is in the shape of a dinosaur. 10 out of 10, totally recommend these piggies. I think these three, if I can fit them, will join my car and these will go on my shelf. All right, and our last item is Alice in Wonderland theme. I really don't need any figurines, but when you come across these and they're just too cute, it's hard to say no, especially when they always seem to be at really good prices. So if you can't tell already, it's the little oysters from Alice in Wonderland. And when I saw this, I nearly died. These are one of my favorite characters and they looked in the picture exactly like this. And I was like, ah, I was like, even in the reviews, I was like, this looks like really good quality. So you can see they have different expressions on their face and obviously, you know, you'll get some imperfections, but that's okay. Oh, he's yawning. Ah, oh, it's my favorite one. How stinking adorable. So I'll put these next to some of my Alice in Wonderland lounge fly bags, but I could not be happier with this purchase. So this is my mini haul from this bag. The other bag's contents is scattered around by this point. But all right, guys, well, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want, feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye, friends.